the last day of the year 406, the Vandals crossed the Rhine River into the Roman Empire. Their great king, Podigisil, had led them a thousand miles from their ancient home, fleeing the discord and violence brought forth by the coming of the Huns. When the Vandals reached the frozen Rhine, however, King Odigisol was already dead, killed in battle against the Franks earlier in the year. His sons, Gunderic and Geyseric, now assumed leadership of the tribes. Their people were hungry and cold, shivering on the western bank, the river that marked the frontier between the civilized lands of Rome and the barbarians to the east. The Vandals had already trekked across Germania, but their journey had only just begun. Hungry and cold after their severe migration across the frozen Rhine, the Vandals are in no mood for peace. To make way for the Vandals, the Franks must be destroyed. The Vandals are a people on the move. The ox cart contains the necessities to establish a camp. Unpack the town centre near the trees and animals at the destroyed Frankish camp. The Vandals are a migrating people, traveling to wherever they can find resources and then moving on once the food is exhausted. They cannot construct mills or lumber camps, so their town center must be moved to grow the tribe. To migrate, train an ox cart at the town center, packing the structure. All other buildings will be dismantled and lost. Migrate once you have exhausted local resources or to escape danger. The young king Gunderic and his half-brother Geyseric are inexperienced warriors. Only killing and raiding will grant them the scars of war honored by the Vandals. Yeah, 
There are rich lands with forage bushes, game and even farms further south. Train an ox cart at the town center to migrate to these lands when ready. You will lose all buildings, so ensure you have enough wood to rebuild. Yeah, 
These Alans fled the coming of the Huns and will stake their tents alongside those of the Vandals. Spilt Frankish blood is justice for their killing of King Godigisel. The ancient city called Carthage once challenged Rome. It is ordained that this will be the final and sought after home of the Vandal people. The warriors clamor for the chance to sack a Roman city. The plunder that can be taken is too great for the Vandal king to ignore. From Carthage, they will fulfill their destiny. But without boats, the Vandals must first convert a Roman dock to make the journey across the sea possible. Hey, ja? Jäger, Heiße? Holzer? 
The Suibi and Alans await the Vandals on the frontiers of Hispania. There are many Roman cities to sack there. The Goths herd animals nearby. These can feed many warriors. There are rich lands with forage bushes, game and even farms further south. Train an ox cart at the town center to migrate to these lands when ready. You will lose all buildings, so ensure you have enough wood to rebuild. The Christians among the Vandals ask the king to build a monastery to spread the righteous teachings of Paris. can only be taken in raids by sacking enemy buildings or killing enemy soldiers. The daughter of the Sweeby king has been kidnapped by the Franks. He will give a great reward if she is rescued. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Roman cities are strong, but the outlying villages and farms are vulnerable to raids. Farms themselves can be captured and cultivated until they are exhausted. game and even farms further south. Train an ox cart at the town centre to migrate to these lands when ready. You will lose all buildings, so ensure you have enough wood to rebuild.
that suck? Das 
ride into Gaul. The Vandals must venture deeper into Roman territory to escape this threat. Tonight, the warriors will sing songs for their dead brothers in the burning ruins of the Roman city. Yeah, 
The Vandal King sees a great city of flame conquered by the Vandals. Sacking Rome will immortalize his people, but reaching the city is not yet possible. The Vandals must first conquer Hispania.
Yeah. 
Vandals learn quickly and can now take to the sea. Nothing can stop the Vandals from reaching Africa and sacking Rome. Hey, Lickman, Lickman, Lickman. Let's 
Final Vandal homeland is in sight. Settling there will finally end the migration.
the long journey, the Vandals finally end their migration in Carthage. is still a Roman lake, and their fleets block the way to Rome. The Vandals can either build warships to battle for the sea, or colonize Sicily and move up the Italian peninsula by land. The greatest city in the world is now ripe for the taking. Ooh, man, man. 
hè? Yeah. 
Inverter. 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 Ja. Halsa. Hejsa. Sista. Halsa. Hej, Asma. Ja, bereit. Bereit.
vandals slaughter and plunder the ancient city of Rome, leaving their mark in the pages of history. Vandals visited upon Rome would make the people legendary. Centuries later, echoes of this devastation would cause the Vandals to be synonymous with senseless acts of destruction. But despite this reputation, the Vandals formed an impressive kingdom in North Africa, converting from migrating Germanic warriors to skilled seafarers inhabiting Rome's most lucrative provinces. The great wealth of the Vandal kingdom, however, made it a target for the Emperor Justinian's reconquest of Rome. After ruling North Africa for over a century, the Vandals were finally defeated by the Roman general Belisarius in 534. After this defeat, some Vandals joined the Eastern Roman army, serving as cavalrymen in Persia, while others fled to northern Algeria, where they melded into the local Berber population. The people that had made an incredible migration from Germania to Gaul, to Hispania, to Africa, had finally ended their journey. They faded into the mists of history.